as a 3D modeler, there are so many methods and techniques you can apply to achieve your end results. In this video, we are going to talk about the most famous and effective ones and their best use cases. So let's start with the polygon modeling and box modeling. I wanted to talk about these methods together because they are quite similar and they are sometimes complementary to each other. So let's start with box modeling. Initially we start with some primitive objects such as a cube or a sphere and we use a classic modeling tools such as extruding, loop cuts and beveling to create the shape that we want. This is a common way of modeling that is quite mechanical since we control the faces edges and vertices individually. This type of modeling tend to work best with hard surface objects such as architectural visualization and man-made objects or products. We often use box modeling with subdivision surface which is another method of creating more geometry in between edges, vertices and faces. That way you can extend this method to create more organic shapes like stylized characters for example. Polygon modeling. Polygon modeling is a type of 3D modeling that is quite similar to box modeling. The difference here is that we usually start with a single vertex or simple shape without any depth to it then we build our model piece by piece. We often use the same tools as with box modeling but we use them in a kind of detailing way. The emphasis here is to work with edges and vertices a lot more. The type of objects we create with this technique still tend to be a hard surface, but many times the kind of model we create have some organic characteristics, it could be a statue or a building for example. I forgot to say that in both of these modeling methods we tend to work with quads which are faces that have four sides. If you are a bit confused about the difference between box and polygon modeling, this explanation might help you. Which is that box modeling is a top-down approach where geometric details is gradually added versus polygon modeling is a bottom-up approach where you add details along the way. Boolean modeling. The process of creating transitions for two shapes like a cube and a sphere for example can be hard and time consuming using box modeling. It is here where boolean operations come in handy. They create transition by either merging the two objects or saving only the geometry that the two objects share or you can cut away the shape and volume of one object from another. Boolean operations are used heavily in hard surface projects. Their main drawback is that they create really bad topology. So working with them in a game character for example will require you to do some retopology to it. Procedural modeling. The advantage of this method is that you can change the shape, size and look of your model just by changing some of the parameters. You can achieve procedural modeling by either creating a tool or using one that is already available then you use this tool parameters to create your desired objects. You can also work with this displacement output of a shader node and we use mathematical formulas to deform the surface to become a complex object or surface. Procedural modeling is the method that has the brightest future in 3D modeling, there are always new and better tools to procedurally make something in 3D. Kit bashing. Kit bashing is very common when creating hard surface objects. It is the combination of a kit of objects to create a more detailed one. This method is very useful for detailing a scene for example. You can create organic scenes using the kit bash method too. As a side note, keep in mind that the ratio of high frequency detail and low frequency detail is going to decide whether you have a shot that is well composited or not, a good mix and arrangement between the different distribution of detailing is key when it comes to your 3D render. Photogrammetry Photogrammetry is a complete different way of generating 3D models. 
With this method, we use a camera and take pictures of an object multiple times from all angles in an even and balanced lighting condition. Then we put all these images into a program that generates 3D models from those images. It also generates textures so we don't have to worry about that. There are obvious advantages and disadvantages here. We get real world data meaning that whatever we create is going to be close to realism. The downside is the object generated will have millions of polygons probably which requires the remission and retopology of the 3D model. It is also worth mentioning that there is another way that is technically bound to photogrammetry which is using scanner like a sonar for example to generate 3D maps or 3D objects. This is all 3D sculpting. Sculpting is the manipulation of vertices, faces and edges using brushes. These brushes has an influence area and more organic reshape. The geometry is based on the brush type and settings. Sculpting is heavily used in areas like character design or creature design. There are three main types of sculpting, the first one being sculpting on the mesh directly but this method requires you to have a dense mesh to have more control of the shape the second type is called multi resolution it is similar to subdivision surface the difference is that we can store the sculpts between each level of multi res the next type is called dynamic topology this type turns your mesh into triangles and the more you zoom on the object the more vertices you are going to create. This way, we just keep sculpting and the geometry will adapt. This method will most likely require you to retopologize the mesh after you are done sculpting. NURBS and Curve Modeling NURBS and Curve Modeling is used to create very smooth curved surfaces. Curves are surfaces that we control based on some control points. We can both interpret between points within the same curve and also create bridges between multiple curves. We can set up a net of curves that acts as the edge of an object, then fill in the geometry in between to create an object. This kind of modeling is mostly used in engineering and CAD-like software. It is also used to create cars and vehicles for example. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope you liked it and goodbye.